so it's like 10 degrees outside Fahrenheit, maybe colder. Um, it's going to warm up in a couple of days here, so I thought I'd do a video. Uh, we're talking about ice again here. This is the device I was showing in the last video. Um, that thing's frozen solid. It's been frozen for a while. I, I actually need to get that that off of there. Um, it never did freeze completely solid. Um, there's a void in there, but I mean, there's no liquid water here. It's too cold outside right now. Um, I pulled the bucket off. It slid off rather easily, although it does bulge. It did expand quite a bit on the bottom of these buckets. Um, the other one, it was not frozen solid. It had a nice water core in it, um, which uh, sitting here, eventually this thing did explode in the night. And, uh, you know, selfish act of suicide blew its head off. Um, expansion heaving. Uh, that seems to be a, uh, a pretty big problem here. So here's a couple of small examples from those stainless steel steam table pans. Uh, these small short ones, these two and a half inches, they freeze rather rapidly and heave hard um, and, and pretty much break right in the pan. So they don't come out of the pan very well. Uh, these larger ones freeze more slowly. Um, both of these examples had water inside of them. This one especially, it was nice and crystal clear yesterday. Um, and I knew eventually it was going to break, and over the night it it expanded and split. So um, this is one of those big steam, steam table pans that I said I was going to get. Um, this is not frozen solid. There's still a good bit of water in there, although uh, the sides and the bottom, the top did freeze quite a bit. Um, I had this little bit. It's just a little piece of copper I had left, single tube here, about three, three and a half feet long, um, that I had laying in diagonally, you know, and it froze a nice tube in there and I removed it, you know, twisted it, pulled it out, put it in a different spot, let it freeze. Just been playing around with it a little bit. And then last night I just shoved it in here vertically and uh, it kind of stayed, it froze itself in place. And it froze about an inch and a half overnight. Pretty good size for this, just this little pipe. And it was a lot easier to build than that. Makes me wonder what that would have done if I would have put it in a fresh bucket of water, but it doesn't matter now. Um, I really don't think there's a huge difference between just using this half inch pipe and using that big one inch pipe um, other than that has more more surface area. Um, once this gets a nice size layer of ice on it, I think the the advantages to that um, really they might not outweigh the added cost and especially the complexity of building that damn thing but um, um, we'll see we'll see how things go. So uh, just as kind of a control, I put a regular copper pipe in here, uh, nothing in it. It's completely open and it actually did freeze. Um, I want to say probably about a half an inch. It's easier to see earlier this morning. I had a flashlight on it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It froze about a, another half inch layer of ice on the copper, almost the whole way down to the end. It tapers towards the end, um, but it's nothing compared to the thermosiphon. So it's definitely a difference there um just kind of as a little experiment um i just dropped this copper pipe in just to see what would happen but mostly i'm working with plastic here's some kind of a rubber tubing inserted trying to relieve some of the internal pressure um i could do kind of a, a directional freezing technique um that some of these people do to make like clear ice to try to um uh, displace and move the air in a one direction so that the liquid water and air don't get trapped and then eventually it um, uh, the solid ice around it is uh, expanding and compressing and, and, and eventually fractures because it can't overcome uh, can't compress the liquid water um, so I was trying to relieve it with a tube now this one didn't work it heaved anyway but this one um, this little piece of vinyl tube it did push an ice plug up through um, this is actually where it's at. This is about a one and a quarter inch, uh, drain pipe. And it was inserted down in further. And I want to say what happened in the night was as this froze and expanded, it pushed on the water in the core, pushed that water up this tube. Eventually it froze solid enough that it wouldn't push up the tube anymore. It overcame the little clamp that I had on it and it, um, lifted the whole thing. So this is likely solid ice the whole way down through. However, this amount, this, this expansion um, relieved the heaving that would have occurred in this. So it's relatively flat still. I don't know if it's still moving, still pushing up um, or not, but you know, it, it does demonstrate 
you know, there might be something, something there. So, uh, to continue, uh, I, I'm considering insulating the top, um, just to try to prevent freezing on the top and allow it to freeze in the bottom and the sides first. Um, reason I'd want to do that is to, is to give an escape path for water. Um, really not a big fan of this because I know a lot of my, uh, uh, quote unquote freezing power comes from the open air and the surface. Uh, of course I can transmit that heat out with two phase thermosiphons, but eventually those are going to freeze the surface and prevent, uh, escape of water and air. So, um, <clears throat> Not exactly at an impasse here, but uh, I'm just going to keep dicking around. Um, I could probably look at different shapes and sizes of pipe, which is kind of what I was getting at here. Uh, insulating those pipes, trying to prevent them from freezing too early so, so, uh, uh, so that these pipes can be properly secured and allow this water to escape. Um, um, and, and really even try to create um, an artificial uh, needle ice path where the ice can, the water can naturally push up through some kind of an artificial orifice um, and then freeze. And, I don't know, um, but that's kind of where I'm at now. It's fucking cold out here, so I'm going to go back inside. <laughs> Thanks for watching.